Governor Kemp of, of, of Georgia is to deploy 1,000 National Guard troops after a violent weekend. And I wasn't even aware what, what exactly had happened. It said uh, Governor Brian Kemp will deploy as many as 1,000 Georgia National Guard troops to protect state buildings in Atlanta on Monday, following a burst of violence across the city that left four dead, including an eight-year-old girl, and saw the ransacking, ransacking of the headquarters of the Georgia State Patrol. It's just funny because there's so much going on right now. It's like this just somehow didn't even register. Uh, these, this, this, this violent weekend in in uh, Georgia didn't even even register because there's just so many things going on constantly. There's so many things going on in my own community, in my state. Uh, I can't I can't keep track of everything. Uh, but what's relevant about this is that. Uh, the article talks about the rift between um, Governor Kemp and also uh, the the mayor of Atlanta. And we see this in a lot of places because Georgia is one of those places where you have a Republican governor, but its largest city has a, a Democrat mayor. That's uh, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Uh, we see the same thing in Arizona. You know, in Arizona, we have a, a Republican governor. Our largest city, though, Phoenix, is has a mayor uh, who is a Democrat. And uh, they are constantly at odds about things such as uh, Corona, um, you know, you name it. They just come they just come at things differently, uh, sometimes in a very partisan fashion. And so you kind of have sometimes have these these issues where it looks like you might have a little bit of a showdown going on between the governor and the mayor. But, you know, interestingly enough, the place you actually see this the most is in New York. And that's that that goes back, you know hundreds of years practically between the, the rivalry between Albany and New York City. Uh, and you even see that even though Cuomo and de Blasio are both Democrats, they're constantly at odds with each other because it doesn't seem like they personally like each other. And again, there's that historical rivalry between Albany and New York City. And so you kind of see the same thing happening here in Atlanta. And so the fingers go back and forth about, you know, you're, you're doing overreach, you're not really doing the right thing, blah, 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 blah. So it's just kind of interesting to see that conflict uh, between the state and its subdivision, uh, in this case, a major, major city. Uh, and, and basically, sometimes it, they can't seem to come to terms about the best way to deal with these things. Now, reading this article, I will say that it looks like the, the National Guard deployment is actually quite limited. Uh, it said they will be dispatched to three locations in Atlanta. That's going to be the state camp capital, uh, which has been the focus of protests. Over, over statues of segregationists and civil war leaders, the governor's mansion, and uh, also the actual vandalized Department of Public Safety building in Southeast Atlanta. So uh, it looks like the National Guard is gonna be used more as a security detail as opposed to actually being out in the community uh, involved with any kind of enforcement or anything like that. But still, it's a very substantial deployment. And again, uh, there's sort of a history of states having these rivalries between the governors and and large cities uh had you, were you aware of this pete aware that, that this was going on no this is the first time hearing about it and and honestly i didn't realize that the, that atlanta was the capital of georgia a lot of states um i just had to look it up it is in fact the capital of georgia uh you know a lot of states try to keep the uh capital outside of the major city i i think largely for reasons like this so that um you know be, because what the, the, the problem is that what the what the mayor does directly impacts the governor. If the governor were in Savannah, Georgia, for example, um, you know, th then an, an incident like like this, uh, you know, it, that wouldn't necessarily be his turf. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I do think it's interesting. It sounds like things have kind of gotten out of control recently if, uh, you know, he feels the need to do this. Well, again, there's a there's a huge parallel there between my home state of Arizona <laughs> with and Georgia in that regard as well, because of course the capital of Arizona is Phoenix, and that is is the largest city in the state as well. And uh, I kind of I, I think you were touching on something that that, that I think uh, I've thought about quite a bit, which is, you know, as you mentioned, that a lot of states it almost seems like they purposely make sure that the capital is not in the most populous city. Mm -hmm. And I've thought about that quite a bit. You know, Arizona, actually, um, its capital has changed multiple times throughout its history. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, 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 I believe uh, Prescott was a capital at one time. Yes. Uh, you know, the, the, the capital has changed. And I, and I think a lot like 
uh, Prescott in particular, how that would kind of be interesting if Prescott was still the capital of Arizona. Um, right. Because I actually like that town quite a bit. I have a good friend mm -hmm. that lives there. Uh, but uh, you know, I, I just think it would be interesting if that was the case. And then you kind of wonder how these protests would go. Because, like, for instance, in the Phoenix protests, you had some protests that were going to the state capitol, but then you had other protests that were going to the Phoenix police headquarters. And so how would you split that if they weren't, like, practically next door neighbors? They're only a few blocks away from each other, essentially. You can walk from the Phoenix, the headquarters of Phoenix police station to the state capitol. Um, so it's kind of interesting in that regard. And uh, you, I do, in my mind, also wonder if it might be better if we had just left the state capitol in Prescott, you know, in, in Arizona's case. And if, if Georgia is having some of the, those same kind of issues because of, mm -hmm. of the fact that the capital is in the largest city. Yeah. And, and it could be because Phoenix wasn't a large city in the 1950s. It could be that the city grew up because it was the capital. And maybe that would have happened in Prescott, too. We don't know. But, but the classic example of where this could cause a problem would be like in Washington, D.C., which is governed by Congress. You don't want the mayor of D.C. able to harass Congress. Um, and you don't want the mayor of Atlanta able to directly influence the state government and, and in some way uh, override, the, override the will of the people. And, and in this case, it sounds like that's not, that's not what's happening at all. It sounds like the, the governor might be stepping on the mayor's toes a bit. Um, I will mention, by the way, that this article also talks about the mayor of Atlanta has tested positive for the coronavirus. And she actually may be sort of incapacitated at this point. Uh, this yeah. article kind of alludes to the fact that they, they couldn't get a new comment from her. So, uh, you know, either way, either uh, side of the political aisle you're on, prayers for her. But, uh, you know, the, the, the bottom line is, is that that adds fuel to the fire, literally, you know, that whole situation. So. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. Although, you know, you know, what's kind of amazing is we've heard about staffers, we've heard about Secret Service, we've heard about people around the president, around congressmen, around, and we haven't had a couple, some congressmen, Rand Paul, had coronavirus. But it's almost surprising that we haven't had more, you know, uh, high profile politicians, but I guess Boris Johnson, uh, test positive, you know, given how widespread it seems to be. Oh, well, you know, there's... We had an activist, uh, you know, here locally in, in mm -hmm. the Phoenix metro area that recently tested positive for Corona. Right. 